The triangle has the length of the three sides A, B, and C. Then, the radius of its in circle would be A over S, where A is the area of the triangle ABC, and S is half of the perimeter of the triangle ABC. We can say that S is equal to 1 over 2 times A plus B plus C, right? Because the parameter of ABC is A plus B plus C. Now, if you cannot find the height, you can use the Heron formula, which goes like this. The area of a triangle is equals S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C square root. And that's how you can find the radius of an in-circle with only knowing the sides of the triangle ABC. That's it. That's the quick formula if you want to find the radius of an in-circle. I'm going to prove the formula. You can end the video here or you can continue to see why this formula is like this. So we have got this ABC triangle with the length of A, B, and C. We've also got its in-circle. Now, let the center of the in-circle be I and the length of the radius of it R. Now, let the point which the circle meets the triangle be X, Y, and Z. Okay? Because the circle is inscribed, these three points are tangent to the sides of the triangle. Now, let's draw the lines that connect I to the X, Y, and Z. Like this. So, we have got IX equals IY equals IZ because they are the same, which is the radius of the in-circle. Now, if you, if you know, if a line is tangent to a circle, then the point with the line tangent with the circle with the radius for example ix iz or iy it's gonna form a 90 degree angle now we can see why this is very helpful here let's see the triangle abi the triangle aci and the triangle bci as you can see R is the height of the triangle. For example, look at this ABI. IZ is the height. This is R. Okay. So, for example, for the ABI, what is the area of it? We have got the area of ABI equals C times r over 2. Now we're gonna add it to the triangle of ACI and also BCI. For ACI it's B times r over 2 and for BCI it's A times r over 2. Now we have got r times A plus B plus C over 2. Now, what is this? What is this thing? Okay, so it is the sum of these areas. And why is this important? Because these three areas equals the area of ABC. So we got R times A plus B plus C over 2 equals ABC, which is the area of the original triangle. Now we can simply do this. R equals A over S just as the beginning because A plus B plus C over 2 is half of perimeter and this is the area. So that's how you prove it.
Now, this formula is very widely known. You can use it almost anywhere in the math competition and Olympiad without explaining the proof first. Also with Heron formula that I explained in the beginning to find the area with only IBC, you can use it also without explaining the proof like this. So that's it.